First, it was the little brave state of Vermont. They passed the first Wolfpack resolution calling for an Article 5 convention. Now, people do it for different reasons and they have different motivations, but they all come back to the same idea. Money is killing our democracy. It has swarmed all over politics. They have, in essence, bought all of our national legislators. And the good people of Vermont wanted to fight back. Now, the thing is, if you call for a convention for that specific amendment, if you get 34 states to do it, they must do it, and you don't need Washington at all. But they said, ah, oh, it's just Vermont. OK, you know, our group, Wolfpack, helped there a little bit. The good people of Vermont really earnestly wanted to do it. Senator Jenny Lyons was one of the first people to reach out to try to solve this problem. But it's just little Vermont. Wait a minute now. I see California there. What, what is going on? Well, I told you a little earlier that the California Assembly passed a resolution introduced by Mike Gatto. It's H.A.R. 1. It was the first uh, resolution introduced because it's that important. Now, Mike Gatto came on this conclusion. He's an assemblyman in California all by himself. And we later supported it because we're like, great, you want to do a convention based on Article 5 to get money out of politics. We couldn't be happier about that. But he pushed forward on it on his own. All of a sudden, started to get a little bit of momentum. And in the assembly, it passed 51 to 20. But then we weren't supposed to get a vote in the Judiciary Committee in the Senate. It was going to get blocked in the California Senate. Wait a minute, we got a vote. In fact, close to 70 Wolfpack volunteers showed up there and said, we're here to tell you that the citizens of California want to get money out of politics. <laughs> the, the senator who was in charge of that committee said at the end, after over 60 people testified in favor, is there anyone who dares to oppose this resolution? <laughs> OK. Apparently there wasn't. It passed five to two. Now, today, it goes to the full Senate. State number two, 23 to 11. <laughs> two down, 32 to go. No, no, no. Tell me it's impossible again. <laughs> oh, I love to hear. Let me tell you how this happened in California. And by the way, California, just the largest state in the union. That's all. OK. And we're just getting warmed up. So as I told you, Mike Gatto uh, introduces it, total American hero. I'll tell you about some of the uh, other senators and assemblymen in a second and some of our volunteers. But let me just tell you about a couple of quick uh, stories first. So uh, Allison Horston is the Wolfpack leader in California. Uh, she'd never seen the Young Turks, doesn't know a thing about the show. Uh, she was uh, researching on her own uh, to see, hey, what's wrong with our government? She came to the conclusion, I got it, it's money in politics. <laughs> then she looked around in the different groups trying to fight back against money in politics. She volunteered for several of them and then came to the conclusion, these Wolfpack guys, they have a plan for action. It's not, hey, let's raise awareness. Hey, let's theoretically do something. Let's ask someone else to do something. No, 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 no. We're not asking anymore. We're demanding. She became our state leader, high school teacher in Orange County. Just like you and me, anybody. It's not, she's not a lobbyist. She didn't know anything about politics before. She's a high school teacher. She organized the best state that we have in the whole country in terms of organization. Now, she has the luxury of these great volunteers and obviously a huge state and a ton of volunteers in California, of course. But boy, does she organize the hell out of them. And they were an army that proved irresistible. Because it's one thing to have a great assemblyman like Gatto introduce this. It's another thing to have a whole army behind you pushing and pushing. And you think there weren't roadblocks? There was 800 different roadblocks. I went down to Sacramento myself personally last Thursday when we thought it was going to pass. It didn't pass then. It didn't get introduced then. Because that's politics. Things happen. And, you, and I talked to the volunteers that had all come. Some drove from Orange County. Some flew in from Orange County. And I said, look, man, this is what happens all the time. This is what happened at the Young Turks, too. You get setback after setback, and you fight past it. Now let me tell you about two volunteers volunteers in particular fighting past it. One was Raul Carranza. He's got uh, muscular dystrophy. And he decided, along with his nurse, Laura Woodward, you know what? That's not going to hold me down. They literally went around in his wheelchair, neighbor to neighbor, asking them to call their senators to support this resolution. OK? <laughs> you want to talk about overcoming odds. Now let me tell you about Michelle Sway. She's a senior in high school. Senator Jackson today, during the vote, said, 
I can't believe how many young people have called us about this resolution. See, young people aren't supposed to be interested in politics. There's a lot of myths we're ready to bust out right now, bust them down. They're not true. It's if you get them to actually see what the real problem is and see that they can do something about it. Well, what happened with Michelle? It's crazy. She's a high school student who's helping her, us already. She broke her back, having, of course, nothing to do with us. Is that going to keep her down? No, no, no. She's wolf pack through and through. She started joining conference calls from her hospital bed. So we're going to get this passed one way or another. If you're not going to break our back, we're going to break your back. <laughs> OK? And all these guys in an absolutely heroic fight to get it passed in California. So let me begin the thanks here to, this, uh, to the heroes. First, as I mentioned now, eight times Assemblyman Mike Gatto for coming up with this resolution in the first place on the House side, on the Assembly side in California. He's the one that got the ball rolling. His legislative aide, Taylor Giroux, was incredibly helpful as well. And then on the Senate side, Senator Mark uh, DeSaulnier uh, was the leader of the, on the Senate floor debate. Uh, Senator Hannah Beth Jackson was amazing. Uh, she was the chair committee on the judiciary. Senator Ellen Corbett is the majority leader uh, and also a member on the committee of the judiciary. She was fantastic. She spoke out uh, today in favor of this resolution as well. Senator Mark Leno also spoke out today. Uh, uh, Senator Bill Moning uh, was also involved in the fight. Senator Ricardo Lara, Senator uh, Daryl Steinberg, who's the president pro tem, and the Speaker of the House and the Chair of the House Committee, also huge. So these people were the next set of founding fathers. Every amendment that goes in the Constitution is part of our guiding document. Everybody who adds an amendment is a founding father and mother. We weren't around during the Revolution, but we can do this. Every generation of Americans has amended the Constitution except us. And it's our turn, and this is critical because right now, all the national politicians pay attention to is donors. But when you get to the state level, people didn't believe me. I saw it with my own eyes. I was skeptical in the beginning. But when you get to the state level, they actually listen to their constituents, to their actual voters. You can say, oh, well, in Vermont, it's such a small state. Of course, they're going to listen to their constituents. But in a giant state like California, where they represent so many people, even at the state level, they're not going to listen. Are they wrong? They do listen. Look at all those American heroes who listened. Wolfpack leaders, Allison Hartson, uh, obvious uh, American heroes here uh, in our book. Uh, she was a state director. Kathy. Orlinsky, who's our regional coordinator, Will Yate, our California organizer. I met with all of them. They all have amazing stories. Will uh, had this great story where he said, I got so mad about this system, and the first time I gave you guys 20 bucks, it made me feel so much better. <laughs> He's like, I felt like, hey, at least I'm doing something. He's like, maybe, maybe I should join. Maybe I should make a couple of calls. And then both he and Kathy were critical in the fight to get this passed, and California's on the board now. And a special thanks goes to all of these volunteers and organizers, Alan Bigler, Brandon Collins, Daryl Lawrence, Eric Yao, who was the first piece, person to reach out to Majority Leader Corbett. Uh, he's got an amazing story about how he, he helped to convince her, uh, and she did the right thing, uh, both, of course, because she wanted to and because she listened, which is great. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to listen to your constituents. Then Jamie Garfield, Jason Williams, Jeff Green, Jim Forbes, Joe Berens, Larry Basket, Michelle Sway, the uh, girl I told you about who broke her back but kept fighting anyway, Mitchell Crown, Noah Newmark, Raul Carranza, Laura Woodward, Shane McLeod, Sh uh, Chanel Pittman, and Todd Erickson. These guys and girls were all amazing. And now... California, the largest state in the union, is on the board. Now, you think we can't get the other states? Please keep thinking that. I'm begging you to keep thinking that, because we're coming for you. OK, we're not going to stop until we get this done. But I got to thank one last set of people. I know it's a little corny, but it's the American people. And I'll tell you why. And in this case, of course, specifically the people of California, who made all those calls, who told their state leaders, we got to get this. There's no other way. Look, a new Gallup poll came out. It's amazing. Do you know what the approval rating of Congress is at now? 7%. 7% 7 of Americans surveyed said they have a great deal or quite a lot of confidence overall in Congress. <laughs> I love this quote uh, from the story. This is the lowest confidence score Gallup has recorded for any institution Ever. Okay. Look, 
the reason we have success in these states, the reason we got these two states when they told us we couldn't get any, and the reason why we're going to get all 34, and why we're going to go to the convention, and we're going to get an amendment, and we're going to get our democracy back, is because 93% of the American people are sick of this Congress, sick of this corruption, sick of the fact that our representatives don't represent us. So the minute you get it introduced, yes, there'll be a ton of roadblocks as they were in California, but we will overcome all those roadblocks because we have the overwhelming majority of people on our side. Now, 93% isn't just Democrats or liberals or progressives. That's conservatives, that's libertarians, that's all Americans. Please tell me we can't get red states. Tell me that next, because we're coming. It's a great day in America today, man. California's on the board. We got 32 more to go. Roll up your sleeves, wolf-pack.com. What do you do in your states? Are you giving that 20 bucks that Will talked about that made him feel better? Are you joining up as a member? Are you joining up as a volunteer? <laughs> Look, Michelle, high school student making phone calls from her hospital bed. You tell me you can't make one from your couch? Do you have any idea how good it feels when you win? When, as Allison in my book famously said, when you get the power back, oh, that feels good, man. Let him hear you roar. Let's get our government back. Let's get our democracy back. Let's go get him, man. Up and at him, up and at him wolf-pack.com. Let them hear you. I'll see you at the convention.